Hopefully I'm Alexander Stewart with Inside the Ropes and I'm here in the beautiful heart of Wales outside Cardiff Castle with WWE and BT Sport ahead of this September's incredible Clash of the Castle event and I'm here with an equally as incredible guest. We're talking former NXT North American Champion, former WWE United States Champion, the Archer of Infamy himself, Mr. Damien Priest. Damien, how are you doing today? Fantastic and you forgot to mention future WWE Universal Heavyweight Undisputed Champion, whatever you want to call it. Uh, that, that, that's definitely on the cards for me. Let's throw in future Hall of Famer as well. There we are. We'll, we'll, <laughs> we'll, well. we'll wrap it up. <laughs> we'll round it up. Um, we're here, of course, in Wales because of the incredible event this September. There's uh, some special footage coming to Inside the Ropes uh, YouTube and Twitter later this month of Damien doing some interesting activities we can't say too much just yet so make sure you keep an eye on bt sport wwe and inside the ropes socials for that without giving too much away damien have you found your time in cardiff and did you envision yourself doing anything like this when you signed that first contract that's a negative you know there's certain things in this business that you're like i i thought i thought i was coming here to be a sports entertainer <laughs> like i don't know what this is uh but it's in the best way possible i i had a blast here so i'm looking forward to you know seeing the reaction from our fans and whatnot because hopefully they enjoyed as much as i did amazing well i implore everyone watching make sure you go and check out all the links down below drop a follow drop the notification bell and everything on so you don't miss that when it comes out now we're going to do a little bit of a different interview today because Last week at SummerSlam, you, you spoke with my, my colleague, my boss, I think I'm contractually obliged to say boss, uh, Kenny McIntosh. So rather than just asking you the same questions, I've got 20 quick fire questions here on my phone. The sort of thing that, you know, the old WWF magazines, the old WWE magazines you, you would have in there. So we're gonna throw some of them at you, see what happens. Some of them you ha might have more to say than the others, totally fine. But we're gonna start things off as two equally tall men um, and equally good shape uh, I want to ask you, what would be your go-to cheat meal? Go uh, Cookies and cream, like ice cream, Oreos, anything that base, you know, the cookies and cream, uh, anything that, that encompasses it, that's my go-to. I think that's my breakfast sorted. Um, I don't know if you're a big video game guy or if you were when you are younger, but I want to know, what was your, uh, what's your favorite video game? Ooh, that's a good one. Uh, I mean, I've always been into the, the sport games, you know, whether it was the basketball, you know, NBA 2K or or Madden games. Uh, nowadays, I, I like the, you know, whether it's the, the baseball, whether it's, you, uh, you know, the show or, you know, you know WWE 2K, <laughs> you know, playing as myself is kind of cool nowadays, you know, being in the, in my first time being in a video game is pretty sweet, so those, those are my go-tos now, but growing up, yeah, it was always sports related, you know, so th those were those were my main ones. Perfect. We'll need to pick you up a copy of Welsh Rugby Simulator before you go. That's uh, that's the thing around here. Right. Um, what would you be watching if you had a day of Netflix and chill? You know, a day of binging TV at home. Oh, uh, I mean, it, it's hard to say because I've already if I've watched something, I'm not going to watch it again. I'd try to find something else. So usually I, I try to find like uh, when I when I'm binging. Obviously, you try to find series. Um, I, I like more of the, the darker, nice. you know, edgier yeah. type of shows, you know, obviously Stranger Things is one of the main yeah. ones today, and which is pretty cool. I like the vibe. I like the, that 80s style, the, the heavy metal music. Everybody knows I'm a big proponent of that. So obviously the Eddie style, you know, that, that, all that was pretty cool. I could, I could rewatch that, especially the last season over and over if there's nothing else to watch. It's very Damien Priest, I think, Stranger right? Things, it's very on brand. <laughs> Um, sticking in, in, in film and TV, I want to know what movie have you seen the most? Probably Scarface. Nice. <laughs> um, and then followed by a close second is probably a tie with The Crow and The Lost Boys. Oh, I love Lost Boys. My, me and my fiance, our first date was watching The Lost Boys and having a, a movie night. So that's, on DVD, not in, not in the theater. That's not bad. I mean, I would never picked you to be to, you know, something so cool. Yeah, I know. It's <laughs> the work clothes. That's what we'll blame. Okay. Um, <laughs> You're obviously an incredibly imposing figure, but if someone had to portray you on film, what actor would you pick? Jason Momoa. That was that, so easy. Yeah. I mean, look at us. We're studs, <laughs> right? We're Clydesdales. So um, uh, just that party, positive, just awesome vibe. And like, I feel like we're two of a kind. You know, I'm going to take the clip of you saying we're studs out of context and put on my dating profile now. You're aware that's how that's going to go. Um, <laughs> 
you, you mentioned being a big proprietor of heavy metal music you know the presentation is very metal as well i want to know who's your favorite musician or band uh, and, and easy answer is metallica you know um that that's probably the one band that you, you could always put on i could listen to any album straight through not skip any songs so that's always my go-to you know but then there, there's so many kill switch engage soil work trivia I, I love it and then you got old school like anthrax i like the big four anthrax yeah. megadeth slayer uh, I, I could go on and on about heavy metal bands that i'm a fan <laughs> of but but metallica would have to be the one that i could always listen to not skip anything and will, will get me to any mood i need to be in i like it i like it um so st- Sticking on the theme of music, if you can only listen to one song for the rest of your life, it's the hardest question of the day, I think. What song are you picking? Oh, uh, man. Sanitarium by Metallica. Like, I, I could always, you know, welcome home. I could always uh, listen to that. And that, that is the song that could put me in any mood I want to be. If I want to feel sorrow, if I, I want to get excited, if I want to get amped up. I mean, it, it, it'll get you where you need to get. I like it. Good choice. Now, we're going to go controversial here, and I can see everyone from WWE behind the camera panicking a bit. Pineapple on pizza, yes or no? Negative. Uh, it's a no? That's a negative, no. He's uh, one of the good ones. Yeah, I, you know, I, and it's not so much that it's the combination. It's just fruit, vegetables, get it out of here. <laughs> just give me the proteins. I, yeah, I'm not a big fan Um well, I'm not a big fan of pineapple as it is, you know, maybe in a drink, but negative for food. Pina coladas only, no, no food. Right, something like that, yeah. Um, you're stuck on a desert island. What three items are you taking with you? You, can't, <laughs> you ta- can't take a plane or a boat, anything like that. Three items on a desert island, a yeah. deserted island. Um, well, y- you need some beverages, some adult be- <laughs> beverages. I would say some companionship <laughs> and uh and music just have some heavy metal music and i'm, I'm good, good. I like yeah it. i like it um what's your secret talent what's something you can do that people might not know <laughs> i can bake <laughs> i like baking me some stuff some, especially some desserts and, and cakes and whatnot so that's one of my favorite things to do We've got a show here called The Great British Bake Off and now all I'm picturing is is you in your full, you know, ring attire, making some scones, making some some, you know, up down upside down sponge cakes, you know, it's it's a good image. Um What would your friends and family say is your most annoying habit? Uh speaking about myself <laughs> <laughs> putting myself over like every other uh superstar. <laughs> um yeah, they get pretty annoyed. It's like, yeah, we get it you're awesome cool i'm like no i don't think you do i need to tell you <laughs> i think that just comes with part of the role though so I, th- I think if you're doing that you're just doing the job right you know i have always been this way though <laughs> since i was a teenager i've always uh, i love me <laughs> <laughs> um well if you weren't a wwe superstar what el- what would you be what role would you have fallen into uh probably a front man of a metal band Nice. Yeah, I've always wanted to be involved with music and, and just, I guess it comes down to the same atmosphere of uh, being a performer and, and having that attention and having a blast doing what you love. And that to me is, that's why I, I am like the rock star, you know, like of when you think about my character, you know, or who I perceive myself to be and what I show off on TV. It's that, like uh, it's that rock star vibe. And so that would be my go to is being a front man of a band. I like it. You got the look for it. You could keep all your ring gear. I think it would work for that as well. Easy transition. <laughs> um, so before a big match, what's your pre-match ritual? Uh, you know, I, I, I try to put myself in the zone, you know, mentally. So I kind of get away from everybody and, you know, I'll put on, a, you know, maybe some headphones and listen to some music and then just try to get as in my at least mentally just as violent as i can be you know as far as like really you know getting in the zone and and just getting pumped up so that when i go out there i'm not you know just slug, uh, like sluggish or, or dragging you know i i gotta be the best version of myself and be amped up so that that's what i try to do i love it what's the weirdest fan request you've ever had uh, I you know it's, I guess they're not weird, but but I always like why would you want me to beat you up? 
fans don't like so fans want me to do moves like perform moves on them and i'm like why would you want me to hurt you you know like if you know if you're a fan of mine you know that what i do is punishing why would you request me to do it to you like you're not gonna enjoy this <laughs> you know so i guess that would be the 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 route, you know, the, the, you know, I don't really get like crazy requests. I mean, I know some of our female superstars do, but for me personally, it's more like that. People want me to hurt them, which is okay. <laughs> I mean, I enjoy hurting people, but <laughs> there goes my post interview request. It's it's gone now. It's uh, what's the best present you've ever received? It's the next question. Oh man, best present. Uh, well, I'll tell you what, these cool bracelets. Uh, my mom has given them to me, you know, individually, like one at a time for different, like, occasions of birthday and Christmas. So these are these are up there. It's like two of my coolest presents that I've received. Um, uh, so uh, yeah, I don't know. I I, I uh, I'm not a big uh, receiver of stuff, so I I can't even give that because I, I I usually somebody who please don't give me anything, you know, to my <laughs> friends and family. But my mom has good taste in what I, you know, what what to give me. I like it. Um, who's the biggest locker room prankster in the WWE? <laughs> you know, I, I know that there's so many stories from back in the day, but but now, um, you know, Riddle's up there. You know, where I'll come in and I can't find stuff, and, <laughs> and it's usually like he'll either have it on, like something of mine he'll be wearing while I can't find my vest or my jackets, and then I uh, look across the room and he's walking around in my gear or. Um, just hiding stuff. It, it, so I would go with Riddle. <laughs> I like it. That, that, that doesn't surprise me. That's that's for sure. Uh, what re, what wrestling match have you rewatched the most? Uh, probably Taker and Shawn in WrestleMania 25. Um, that was that was a point where I wasn't sure if I should continue in this business just because I didn't think I didn't think I was gonna make it. You know, uh, I I was always positive about you know what I, my dream was. But then at a certain point, I was like, ah, maybe, you know, maybe this is, I, I've reached the end of the road when it comes to this. And I thought about, you know, just letting it go. And then watching that match the first time, I was like, oh, my God, the way I feel, I, I need to do this. Like, I want to create this feeling for somebody else. And whenever I'm not sure of things, that's my go-to match. And it, and it reminds me of why I do what I do because the the feeling that the emotion that that match got out of me is like I want to create emotions for others I love it I love it now final four questions here who was your wrestling idol growing up Undertaker um in fact he's the reason why I fell in love with the business just his presentation and everything just and again another one of those things that the way I felt the emotion he got out of me and I was like I need to do this with my life I need to make people feel this way um, I was just enamored with it, uh, just everything. And it had nothing to do with moves or anything. It was just The Undertaker. Um, and, yeah, there's no Undertaker. There's no Damien Priest. Like, I would not be doing what I do today if it wasn't for, for me watching him as a kid. I love it. Is he your all-time dream opponent, man? Yeah, uh, hands down. The easy answer is yes, you know. It's one of those things where I, I know he's retired now, and but he always says, never say never. And... There's that Jim Carrey moment for me. So you're saying there's a chance, you know, because that's it. And I tell him all the time, like, hey, man, <laughs> you know, whenever I see him. So it's cool. But, yeah, that's my guy. I love it. Uh, what's your guilty pleasure? Guilty pleasure. Um, you know, I, 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 I guess being an island boy, you know, I um, enjoy just going out on a boat, you know, where we're just with, in silence and enjoying that. I don't know. It's just so, Break so from right. Yeah, it, it, it's really cool. Um, and I don't know if that's a guilty pleasure because it's, I think it's something that everybody can enjoy. So besides that, Oreos. <laughs> I love it. double stuff or just normal or the one that's all, all the middle bit. I mean, all of them, anything and anything that encompasses cookies and cream. I, I'm I'm crazy about. I love it. And finally, you're having a dinner dinner party. Three guests dead or alive from any time in history anywhere in the world wrestling film music who are you inviting that's brutal question <laughs> i i man um elvis nice uh ozzy <laughs> and the undertaker <laughs> that, that sounds like the start of a punchline you know elvis ozzy and the undertaker walk into a bar finish the joke at home yourself but right. thank you for taking the time to talk to us damon it's been great we've got 
the sun out in the UK, which is a miracle. You must have brought it with you. We've got the castle there that I'm sure this September you will be making your own. Before we go, anything you want to plug, camera is yours, and then we'll let you go for the day. Um, I mean, the only thing I can think of at this moment, he being here in Wales, is September 3rd, Clash of the Castle. Um, we're coming to uh, make a moment, make something that our fans are going to be proud to witness, whether it's live or on TV. You know, it's one of our passions is to create moments for our fans so that they can speak about tomorrow, next week, next year. This is going to be one of those opportunities for all the talent to share in that vision of let's do something special. So Clash of the Castle, Wales, Cardiff, we're coming to deliver. Mm -hmm.